Hey everyone, this is Darren Kidd, Millionaire Club member with Nerium International, and today I'm so excited to train on a topic that's gonna make a big difference in your business and your team's business, which is how to speed up your business one to two years in about a 48 to 72 hour window. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you're taking notes. Never trust your fortune to your memory. Make sure you go back and watch this video multiple times because over 50% of what we retain is after the fifth time that we hear it, see it, or read it. And I'm talking fast to try to keep the video as short as possible. So the good news, you can pause it, go back and watch it over and over and over again because we have to rep our mind like we rep our muscles in the gym. So let's get straight into the training topic. And by the way, make sure you like the video and comment below on like what you got out of the video. What was the one thing or the two things that made a difference uh, after watching this training? And then if you have training ideas or topics you would like for me to do in future videos, you can list those in the comments below as well. And then I'll go out and I'll do the videos. And then if you're subscribed to my channel, so make sure you subscribe, you'll be the first to get the notification as soon as that video goes live. And having a big successful organization like we do, thanks to all of you, it's impossible for me to have individual conversations with the whole team, but this is a way that I can make a difference and uh, throughout the entire team. Do videos like this and get it to you because your success is my success. So let me start with my story real quick because people know me for who I am now. They go, wow, Darren's made millions of dollars in Miriam. You know, he's been in magazines and man, must be nice. But I don't know about you, I always like to know the story behind the story because it was not like that before. I'd actually been in the industry for seven years and failed over and over and over again. And, and finally got to the point that I'll never do it again. I was a part of the NFL, no friends left club. If you've ever felt, you know, just absolutely I'm done, I'm frustrated with my business, it's not working. At first the success stories motivate you, later they tick you off. And you know what I'm talking about. Some of you, at first you were so excited to see people get their iPad and their Lexus and now you're sitting in that market party and you go, oh, congratulations on your Lexus. I'm going to kick it when I walk out the door. I've been there. I've done that. I understand your frustration. It is an emotional roller coaster. There are times you go, man, I am so excited. I can't sleep. I'm jacked about my future. You know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel and it's not a train. I could see myself being a stay-at-home parent. All these great things. But then you go out and talk to some friends and family and they say some stupid stuff, right? And they, some really crazy stuff. And then you get in that self-doubt phase. And then you get frustrated because you're building the business and you know it's not moving as fast as we would like it to do. Well, it is a business, okay? It is a business and anyone that tells you you can get rich by doing nothing, either they're lying to you or it's illegal, right? If it sounds easy, it's sleazy. So now that I've been in the industry for over 20 years, I want you to learn from my experiences, my mistakes in the industry. And keep in mind, we don't fail unless we quit. We, f we either win or we learn. Look at it as an experiment. Okay, that didn't work. Plan, do review. I'll do something a little bit different. But for seven years, failed. Said I'll never do it again. I'm out. Had the right mentors that came into my life that changed everything. And, and let me share with you the story. And that's the great thing about technology. I didn't have mentors. We didn't have the internet. I didn't have videos where I could sit down and watch and take notes and go, wow, this is actually a mentor of mine. Even though I'm not in front of them, I'm listening to their training. I'm writing down the content. It's going to you know, save me from making a lot of mistakes and help me overcome challenges and setbacks. And, and by the way, a setback is just a setup for a comeback. You know, It's not the easy times that make us grow. When you're going through those challenges, that's when you can relate to your team when they go through the challenges. If my story, I came on the video and go, hey, everything went great, I made a lot of money, and it's just been, you know, everything's sunshine and roses and rainbows and all that kind of, you would, you would not be able to relate to my story. But it's the challenges that I've been through that you can relate to, okay? And I'm sure you'll comment in the in the comment section going, you're absolutely right, right? And um, But what happened, those mentors changed everything. So let me give you a story. In my previous company that I was with for 13 years, I'd been in for 13 months and I was at the end of my rope, my entire team gone. Can you imagine working 13 months? Some of you can because it's happened to you. And I look around, I'm like, all of that work? Well, it wasn't a waste because I had become a different person. It's not just the money you make. You can't evaluate, am I successful in Nerium because of the money I've made? No. Are you growing as a person? 
because this will affect every single aspect of your life. Okay? And we don't make what we want, we make what we are. So as you're becoming more, okay, you're gonna eventually get paid more. A lot of times we grow before our business grows because if not, our income will always come back to where we are. You ever thought about why most people that win the lottery, they go broke? Because they didn't become a millionaire. They were given millions of dollars and our income always comes back to where we are. So I work on myself as hard or harder than I work on my business. So I've been in 13 months, my entire team was gone. And I remember there was a big event coming up and one of my leadership, upline leadership, who was a multimillionaire, he didn't just have the money, but he had freedom. See, I don't work for the money, I work for the freedom. He was in his pool, true story, waterproof headset on, his kids swimming around him, I could hear him you know, swimming around him, and he said, I will see you. Now this guy's made millions in the industry at that time, and since then, even a lot more. He said, I'll see you at the big event coming up. And I was like, man, you don't understand. Like, I'm bankrupt, they're getting ready to repossess my car, I'm on Medicaid, I'm applying for food stamps, I live in a small town, I'm a college dropout. Like, you know, I need to go out, I can't afford to go to that event. And he made me feel pretty stupid by making me repeat it. I've learned, do not say I can't afford it, ask yourself, how can you afford it? He said, what did you say? What did you just say? I go, I can't afford it. He said, how would you like to never say that again? And I go, what do you mean? He goes, Darren, if you've been working all of those years, how long have you been working? My whole life. And you can't afford to take off 48 to 72 hours? Who sold you on that plan? For things to change, you have to change. If you can't afford to take off 48 to 72 hours to go to an event that's going to work on your family's financial future, something you're doing is not working. And if you can't afford to do that, you're only a few days away from financial devastation. If anything happens to your health, your car, your home, you know, who sold you on that plan, Darren? And I'm like, well, that's a good point. To get something different, I have to do something different. I go, I don't have a lot of time. It, how many times do we say that? I don't have a lot of time. I've got kids. We say that like it's a disease. I've got kids. You got kids? <laughs> and he goes, I thought that was your reason. I didn't know that was your excuse. I thought you were doing it because of your kids. If I come back to you five years from now, Darren, will you still be saying, I don't have any time? You want daycare raising your kids or do you want to raise your kids? Uh, let me think about it. Some of you will make the same mistake. You cannot wait to stop the video. You're, what it means is you're going to call some of your broke friends and family and ask them, what do they think? Who cares? <laughs> They're broke. If we buy their opinion, we buy their lifestyle. That's like you asking me, how do I grow hair? You're not going to ask me how to grow hair because I have no hair. You go, Darren, that's silly. Well, isn't it silly? Do we ask our broke friends and family that live paycheck to paycheck, hate their job, have too much month at the end of the money? They don't travel the world. They don't do all these things. But we ask them their advice on business success when they've never had it themselves. When I stopped listening and taking advice from people who had the same problems I had, started asking advice and listen to people that have the solutions and the life that I wanted, that's when everything changed. Because, you know, again, success leaves clues. He also asked me this question. So let me ask you this question. If you had the ability to travel the next 10 weekends in a row, and every weekend you're in a different state, province, in Canada, or a different country, and on that Saturday you're sitting in a room, and for hours you're trained by one of the top money earners in Miriam, what would that do for your business? And if we're sitting in front of each other, you would say, that would explode my business. That would shave years off my learning curve, Darren. And I'll go, well, do you want to do that? And you're probably like me going, I don't want to spend ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 the next 10 weekends away from my family, be on planes, trains, automobiles, all the things you have to do to get to those locations. I'd be worn out, spend a lot of money, be away from my family. He said, the good news is you don't have to. All you have to do is be at the big event coming up and everyone making $10,000 a month will pretty much be at the event. Not everybody there is making $10,000 a month, but everybody making $10,000 or more a month will pretty much be at that event. And Darren, if you go to the event, it'll shave years off your learning curve because in a 48 to 72 hour window, you're gonna get so much training that you wouldn't have got before. You are gonna get training, inspiration, you're gonna get the, you know, the, the education, you're gonna get the associations 
which are just as important as the information because now I've realized, if you read the book Think and Grow Rich, if you study successful people, it is a proven fact that we become the average of the five people we hang around the most. I did this with a friend of mine. I go, your income in five years is the average of the five people you associate with the most. And I looked at his income. We averaged it out. It's almost the exact same as his five closest friends. Our associations work harder on us than we work on them. They're like an elevator. They take us up or they bring us down. So I had to ask myself, what are my associations doing to me or what are they doing for me? So I had to hide my car because they were going to repossess it. I drove all night because, you know, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. And another thing that I said was, I'm not making any money yet. Once I start making some money, then I'll go to some of these events. He said, Darren, that's a terrible attitude. The attitude comes before the money. The money doesn't come before the attitude. If you ever want to have a big team, you've got to start doing some of those things now. I went to the event, sat on the back row, had a pity party for myself. About halfway through, something clicked. I remember driving home with tears in my eyes going, I am going to make sure. No, I, you can't change your life overnight, but you can change the direction overnight. And within 90 days, I hit the top position in that company. I was making over 10000 a month, which now has led to millions of dollars in a lifestyle that I thank God for every single day. I thank God that a friend of mine told me what I needed to hear and not what I wanted to hear because so many times... You know, we're hesitant on doing that. We do tell friends, well, I can't go because of this. Well, it's okay. Well, it's not okay to be okay sometimes. Because if I'm sitting down in front of you and I like to do these videos, like you and I are sitting down over a cup of coffee, which I love coffee, so that's, that's, that's a win-win for us. And I ask you, what's most important to your, in, in your life right now? What's most important to you in your life right now? Why did you decide to join Miriam? It's not the money. Because you're going to quit for the money. It's, you have to put an emotional attachment to the money. And you would say things like, I want to be a stay-at-home parent. People used to say, I work five days, I live two. Then it got to the point, I work six days and live one. Now I have people going, Darren, I don't live. I work multiple jobs. I still, we're still broke. We still don't have the time freedom with their family. We can't give, give to the church like we want to. We have a charity or foundation that, that, we, uh, that we believe in. Sorry, I had to take a reminder off of there. And, um, and, and so, you know, I'm sharing and, and learning why you want to do that. Then I would ask you, do I have permission to coach you? Can I tell you what you need to hear? Maybe if it's not even what you want to hear. And then you say, sure, Darren, please do that. And then I would share the story that I just shared with you because I care about you and I believe in you because I'm going with or without anybody, but you want your friends and family and the people you love and care about to go along with you. And so the convention that's coming up in Dallas, getrealconference.com, will be an event that has never happened before and has never happened again. If you look at what's happened in Miriam recently, I mean, we did a billion dollars in revenue the first four years in business. I mean, Success From Home Magazine, three different times, four different times I lose track. Beautiful You Magazine, three different times. The, you know, the exclusive skincare, at the NW, uh, skincare line at the NAACP Awards, the Emmys, the Oscars, the Country Music Awards. Now we have the multiple products. Inc. 500 Magazine, number one for consumer products and services. That's, that's very impressive. To rank out of the top DSN 100 companies in a $200 billion industry, thousands of companies all over the world, the fastest company to ever hit that list, and to go from 86 to 54 to 40 to 38, we're doing things that have never been done before in the industry. And for Jeff Olson to basically say, look, in the next 12 to 24 months, we could double the size of the entire company. Like the next four years will make the first four years look like child's play. And the event that we have coming up in Dallas is going to be a pivotal point in the company. You want to make sure you're at the event. The next thing that I learned that changed my business was the people that you get to go with you. Because if they don't go, a lot of times they don't stay strong enough, long enough to even make it to the next event. So if they go, they're a year to two years ahead of everybody that doesn't go. If they don't go, they're behind. And, and I'm just being real with them because, again, most of the time, they, they don't see the vision. See, we're in Nerium. Once you go to the convention, Nerium is in you, and it just changes you every single time that you go to an event. And we grow. And as we grow, our income will catch up to where we are. So very important. So I had one person that met me at my first event, and this guy signed up at the event. 
And he ended up being leading me, even though he didn't he didn't stay in the business. He led me to the biggest organization that I had that made me a lot of money over the next decade in my previous company. It only took one. So it may be that one person that you get to go last minute that makes the difference in your business. Another thing that, that from my experience, and I've learned to guesstimate using my years of being in the industry, I've found that about the number of people that I have on my team, when you're starting out, if you average that out in your three organizations, let's say you had 25 people go with you. And if you're watching this video, you've got time to do that. And But they're, they're averaged out, let's say eight to 10 in three of your different organizations, three different legs. You can count on about, from my experience, a guesstimate, about $1,000 for that year per person. So what I've done is I've done my research and I've, it's not always like that, but a lot of times it has worked out like that. So if you have 25 people, 50 people, averaged out about $50,000, you know, 100 people, that's when the roof comes off. That's when you really, it's hard to stop it even if you wanted to. It's like a train going 300 miles per hour east. If you grab a hold of the train, you're going east at 300 miles per hour. If you get in front of it, you become a part of it. I did. I asked a lady on our team, a single mom, how many did you have at your last big event? She goes, I had 240 some people. Now it didn't start out like that. It started out with just her. And then she would go to the next event with a few more people and a few more people. And now, you know, two, three years later, she had 240 some people at the event. And I said, if you don't mind me asking, what was your income last year? She said $260,000. So the more people, the way that I look at it, I remember as a kid, when I explained the story, you're gonna go, Darren, now I understand why you have scars and broke seven bones because you're not too bright. Um, my neighbor had a, had a trampoline and it wasn't enough just to jump on a trampoline like a normal child. We had to do crazy stuff with it. So we would take and move it over by his deck and we would stand on the rail and go, if we jump off the rail, it's going to, you know, shoot us farther in the air. But then we go, well, that's not enough. So let's lock arms. So the weight, when we hit that trampoline will propel us even farther in the air. And yeah, crazy stuff, right? Well, that's the way I look at the convention. It's a big trampoline. And there, there's nothing that you and I can do on an individual basis that will do for them like this event. And once again, I am so confident in the event. I have told my team before that I have personally talked into going to the event. Some of them go, Darren, you really aggravated me. You pushed me, you know, got under my skin. But thank God you did because it's changed my world, changed not only my business, but my life from what I experienced at that event. But I've told them, look, if you go, the ticket that you have to pay for to get into the Dallas convention, if you, once you sit through the entire thing, if you say, Darren, is a waste of my time, a waste of my money, I will pay your ticket back for you. I'll reimburse you. Okay, so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Why wouldn't you do that? But, but so, so think about, first of all, how many people do you want to have with you? You get registered, number one, because you have to be a product of the promotion. I can't ask my team to do anything I'm not willing to do myself. And then how many people on your team do you want to have with you at the convention? That's the second goal. And remember, it takes five to eight exposures for us to accept any information, good or bad. You have to continue to expose, expose, expose. Use this video. So last but not least, so make sure you're registered. Go to GetRealConference.com. Make sure you assign your ticket. They have to be assigned by the end of August. That's very important. And I can't ask my team to do anything I'm not willing to do. Number two, set a goal. How many do you want to have with you on your team? And remember, we get paid based on the size of the problem that we can solve. The size of the problem that we can solve determines the size of our paycheck. People go, I can't afford a plane ticket. Well, they haven't even looked at plane tickets. Don't leave your financial future in their hands. Go in there and look at plane tickets and go, look, there's a $180, $280 round trip ticket out of Dallas. So let's go ahead. That's only if we that's only this many you know, people in your business. That's a couple parties that we can earn that money. Uh, the, the next thing you could do is, well, I don't have a place to stay. Hey, well, if you don't mind, we'll room you with 10 different people. It'll cost you $10 a night. Yeah, but I, I like to eat, Darren, and I don't have money to eat once I get to the event. That's okay. We're going to go to Sam's, Costco. We're going to get you know peanut butter and jelly. We can do anything for 48 to 72 hours. Help solve their problem because they don't know what they don't know. Do you know how many top leaders on our team that now come back and go, 
I would not even be in the business, let alone have the lifestyle that I have now, if my sponsor hadn't took no for an answer and didn't leave it in my hands. They took and they they, they imposed their will. They helped solve all the problems. They helped you know get me to the event, and now I thank God every day that they did that for me. So help solve those problems, get them to the event. Don't take, you know continue to expose them over and over and over again and use this video. Here's how you use the video to do the work for you. Remind them, say, look, why are you in the business? Or a better question, what's most important to you in your life right now? Remind me of why you started in Miriam. Let them share their heart with you. Then you can say, what if I could show you how to get there you know, a lot sooner than later? Absolutely. What if I could show you how to share, shave or speed up your business one to two years in only 48 to 72 hours, would you want to hear what that was? Of course, text them this YouTube link. Email them this YouTube link. Say, look, I'm going to call you back in 20 minutes. When you call them back in 20 minutes, you while they, they know they want to go, their emotions are still, they're thinking about why they're doing the business in a different lifestyle, then you help them get registered immediately help them figure out the hotel room, and then start helping them get their team there as well. And the way I look at it, we look back at Google, eBay, Amazon that we have at our market parties, and you look at them doing a few hundred thousand dollars their first year, and we go, man, I would have loved to have had so much stock in those companies when they first launched. Well, that's over. They did a few hundred thousand their first year. Nerium did a hundred million the first year. And the way I look at the, the conventions, every person that I have with me that's in a seat is stock in Nerium International. Because the bigger my team, the bigger my net, the more growth I'm going to capture of a multi-billion dollar company in the making. Okay, so is it work? Yes. Is it an emotional roller coaster? Absolutely. Are we going to work harder in the beginning? You know, then we get paid to eventually get paid for more than we're doing? Yes. But is it worth it? A thousand times over. Because if, if not Nerium, what? If not now, when? If, and we're showing you exactly what to do. Your success is my success. Let me see if there's anything that I'm missing. That's about it. So I can't wait to see each and every one of you at the convention. We're going to have fun. Think about this. What a dream come true. Being able to help people make money, have fun, travel the world with their friends, being around a group of people. We have people that are multi, multi millionaires that are in Nerium. They don't need the money. But they hang out with Nerium because they like making a difference. They like helping people. They like having fun. And this is the most positive, energetic group of people, loving, caring people that want to go out there and just, you know, just, just make a difference that I've ever seen in my entire life. So make sure you share this video, like it, comment below on what you got most out of the video, comment on future trainings. Make sure you click the subscribe button on my YouTube channel so when I do produce those new videos, you're the first one to get notified and we're just going to give you so much value and content because your success is my success and this is basically like Daring Kids TV show to help you propel your business faster than ever before. So we'll see you in Dallas, getrealconference.com, get registered, assign your ticket, get as many people on your team to get that as possible and remember, don't just email or text because they have no emotion. You have to pick up the phone and call them, ask them those questions, you know, remind me why you got near him, what's the most important thing to you in your life right now, what if I could show you how to get there sooner than later, what if I could show you how to speed up your business one to two years in only a 48 to 72 hour window, would you want to know what it was, and then you promote this video. Okay, one of the highest paid skills in this industry is the art of promotion. People are tuned into their favorite radio station, WIIFM. What's in it for me? When you go, man, you got to hear the story. Man, you got to watch this training. If you're serious about being a stay at home parent, you've got to watch this video. If I text it to you right now, can you watch it? Okay, well, are you serious about wanting to give more money to your church or charity or foundation? Or are you serious about being a stay at home parent? Well, I want to help you with that. And if you're serious, watch this video and let's get back on the phone as soon as you finish watching the video. So again, Darren Kidd, can't wait to see you in Dallas. Thanks for tuning in.